In this video, we will see the inner product defined in terms of an integral in action. We will also use the new inner product straight away to define the length of a function and to compute the distance between two different functions. So, let us take a look. We have our inner product on the continuous functions and we take two functions f and g, f equals 1 plus x and g equals 2 plus 3x. And we take a to b equal to 0 and b to e b equal to 1. So our inner product will be integral from 0 to 1 of f times g dx. So, what happens if we compute the inner product between our f and g? Well, then we plug in f and g, and we have to compute this integral. Of course, we need to expand the bracket first, so we get a 1 times 2 is it equals 2, uh, 1 times 3x plus a x times 2 equals 3x plus 2x equals 5x plus a 3 times x squared, so 3x squared, and then we have to compute the antiderivative, uh, 2x, uh, 5x becomes a 5x squared over 2, and a 3x squared becomes an x cubed, evaluated between uh, 0 and 1, lower boundary equals 0, and upper boundary 2 plus 5 over 2 plus 1, so 3 plus 5 over 2 equals 11 over 2. So there we have our inner product between f and g. Well, we can do some more computations, uh, because what will be the length of f? So in order to get a length, what we what we did, we took the inner product of the vector with itself and took its square root. Well, we can take the inner product of f with itself. Here it is, f inner product f. So we have integral 0, 1, 1 plus x times 1 plus x, so 1 plus x squared. Well, you can use substitution rule, but you can also just work out the bracket. Uh, 1 plus 2x plus x squared, and then integrate term by term to get a 1 from an x from the 1, uh, x squared from the 2x, and 1 third x cubed from the x squared. And then plug in the boundaries again, lower boundary 0, and upper boundary 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 3 equals 7 over 3. So then we can define the length of f as the square root of the inner product of f with itself. Uh, inner product of f with f equals 7 over 3, so the length of f equals the square root of that. And there we have the length of a function. And now we can go on. Now we have length, we can compute distances, because the distance between two points is the length of the uh, vector which is the difference of the two. So how can we define the length of, uh, of the distance between f and g, compute f minus g, and compute the distance of that. So first we compute f minus g. So f minus g equals 1 minus 2 equals minus 1. x minus 3x equals minus 2x. So there we have our f minus g. And then we compute the length of this new vector. So we compute the inner product of f minus g with itself. So we have to compute the inner product of minus 1 minus 2x squared. Again, work out the brackets to get a 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared. Integrate all terms. You get a x a plus 2x squared plus from the last one, uh, 4 thirds x cubed. Plug in the boundaries, lower boundary again 0, so that's nice. And we get a 1 plus 2 plus 4 over 3. So 3 plus 4 over 3 equals 13 over 3. So that means that the length, uh, the inner product of f minus g with itself equals a 13 over 3, and the distance between uh, f and g equals the square root of that. So now you know how to compute the inner product between functions, length of functions, and even distances between functions using this new inner product. 